best tips for building great biceps. Let's chat about it. Don't you want to look good naked? When we're talking about building our biceps or growing our biceps, it can be helpful to understand just a little bit of the anatomy of our upper arm. So we actually have four elbow flexors. So it's not just this bicep muscle that makes up your upper arm here. And it's important to understand that because when we're training our biceps, if we want to have nice kind of peak biceps and we want to train the entire upper arm, it can be useful to train them in different grip positions and also different extensions of your shoulder. So we have that bicep brachy muscle, which is made up of two different heads. Um, just to give you an idea of the anatomy, you have the long head and this one crosses your shoulder joint. So that's why it's important to actually understand that you should train your biceps at different shoulder angles, which I'm gonna give it an example of in a minute. And then we have the other head of that bicep is the short head in the, in the inner part of your arm. And this is trained mostly in that supinated position. So your traditional bicep curl where your palms are facing up, that's supinated. I like to just think of holding a bowl of soup. That's what helps me remember that. And then we have other muscles that are elbow flexors. So we have a, our brachioradialis and our brachialis, just fancy names. But basically it's just a good idea to understand that different grip positions will train these different areas of your upper arm muscles to basically develop that entire bicep area that people want. We also have neutral grip, which is just your palms facing each other. And then you have what's called pronated or reverse grip. So there's different types of movements that you can do, whether that's with a dumbbell or a cable machine, but you definitely wanna make sure that you are training a variety of those grips to make sure that you can develop that entire bicep area. In addition to training different grip positions, you wanna make sure that you're also incorporating movements where you change the angle of your shoulder joint. So training with your shoulder joint extended behind you, so incorporating movements, whether it's with a dumbbell or a cable, where you have your elbow kind of behind your mid line of your body, then also training movements where you have your elbow kind of next to your body, so in a neutral position, and then also with movements where your elbow is in front of your body, so your shoulder is flexed in front. So that's gonna allow you to target different areas of those elbow flexor muscles, specifically the bicep muscles that everybody wants to grow. You can also get fancy and incorporate movements where you have a supinating grip. So that means that you're starting in more of a neutral position, whether that's with a dumbbell or with a cable. And as you're coming up, you're actually bringing your palms up towards the sky and supinating. So you're getting both that neutral and supination sort of at the same time or within the same exercise. So that can be a great option to incorporate instead of just doing neutral grip and supinated alone, you can actually get a little fancy and combine those. Something else to think about when you're training your biceps is to think about the movements that you're doing and training in different resistance profiles. So all that means is where is the exercise the hardest? So when we are training any type of muscle group, we wanna make sure that we're training the entire range of the muscles. So within biceps, for example, you can train in the lengthened position, the mid range and the shortened position. So you wanna make sure that you're just varying those positions as well throughout your training to get the most out of it. So for example, when you're doing traditional bicep curls and you're just doing standing with your supinated grip, that's gonna be hardest in about the mid range position where your form is about 90 degrees to the floor. So if you wanna incorporate other movements that train them more in the shortened position and the lengthened position, that's gonna be good to basically vary that throughout the week or throughout you know your training program. So things like a incline cable bicep curl where your arm is behind you and you're either standing or seated, that's gonna train more of that lengthened position. And then training more of that shortened or contracted position could be something where you're facing in towards the cable and you're kind of bending over a little bit and flexing at that shoulder and training more of that short and contracted position. So again, this kind of goes along with those shoulder positions as well, but you wanna make sure that you're thinking about, okay, where is the exercise the hardest? And you wanna train in those dif different ranges so that you can get the most out of it. Something else to think about when you are training your biceps is to just make sure that you're not using a lot of momentum and you're not letting other muscle groups kind of come into the picture. We wanna make sure that we're just flexing at the elbow because that is what our biceps and our brachialis and brachioradialis, all those fancy terms, 
of that upper arm. That's what that's supposed to do. It's just supposed to flex your elbow. So if you're bringing lots of momentum and you're bringing other muscle groups into the picture, then you're gonna be taking away from training the actual muscle that you're trying to train. So a great way to not do that is to add some stability to the movement. So whether that's a chest support, so doing chest supported spider curls or chest supported hammer curls, for example, or you're using a chest support with the cable machine, those are great options. Or you can do something like a preacher curl or a concentration curl. Those are all gonna allow you to stabilize your body so that you don't have to rely on internal stability and you can rely more on using something external. So that chest support, having the back of your arm on a bench to create that stability. So you're only focused on flexing at the elbow and getting the most out of your biceps as possible. Women, we believe 